hey, what's going on, folks? Now, when you look at my appearance, what is the first word that comes to mind? If you guessed deranged, well, you're not far off, but it's actually party animal. That's right, baby. We're making party stuff. <laughs> and since adults are chronically boring, an epidemic really, what they do is they rely on certain things such as alcohol, right? I remember struggling to spell that as a kid all the time. I'd have to remind myself that there's a hole at the end of it, but just minus the E. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is some amateur bartending, but there is no bar to tend to. So I'm just going to show you how to make some 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 wacky drinks uh, super easy. So uh, I hope you enjoy, and I hope this is an enlightening experience. Uh, if that's the term for it. Um, first off, let's get this wig off because we need to make sure we wear a proper hairnet when we're, when we're food dealing with. <sighs> I'm gonna show you how to make three easy drinks. One of them, I don't even know if I have the ingredients to make, but I'll try, and the effort is all that counts, right? Okay, so I kind of lied. We're only gonna really be making like one, I think, but you know, that's it. details, okay? Doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you something that's kind of, kind of a shortcut, right? Let's say you don't really like the taste of kerosene, okay? So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get something that doesn't taste like complete liquid herpes. For example, this this bad boy right here, this video is not sponsored by the way, but this this stuff right here, look for this name, Moscato Diasti. I don't know if I even kinda pronounce that correctly, but this is probably one of my favorites. It is a very lightly carbonated Moscato, which is made from sweet raisin as opposed to just like fermented grape juice, uh, which by the way, fermented grape juice doesn't actually take, taste like grape juice. I made that mistake when uh, I was being dumb and not using common sense. Yeah, no, I, I decided to try like a red wine once and uh, let's just say it tasted like drinking a sock if the sock uh, were dipped in a vat of, I don't know, gasoline or something like that. It was disgusting. It was it was repulsive even. But this is a very pleasant beverage. Uh, yeah. So we're I'm gonna now I'm gonna show you like an actual how to. Now I've seen bartenders uh, who who post like shorts and stuff. They say that pre-made mixes like this are absolutely terrible. And for this one specifically, I actually agree. This by itself tastes disgusting. It says you can just you just pour over ice. Yeah, that's that's bullshit, okay? It tastes disgusting. Also, sorry for the lighting. Um the uh the the <laughs> this this light bulb went out, but here's here's a problem. Here's a problem with this like the design itself. Want to know what's keeping this whole like thing up here? Adhesive that's right, there are no screws. No screws. Yeah, they just, they just, they just freaking, they just super glued a, th a fixture to the ceiling. Anyway, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and make some, some, some stuff with, with this kind of garbage alcohol and half and half, uh, which is just uh, half iced tea, half lemonade. So this is a Long Island iced tea, so mixing it with something like this kind of makes sense. Citrus generally goes with uh, with a lot of different beverages that uh, are of the um, uh, Alk Perval uh, variety. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour two shots of this, which isn't a whole lot, but you know, it's 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 enough. Okay. Now, I, I don't like to sip slowly on kerosene. I like to drink something that actually tastes good and drink it as quickly as I darn please. So we put in our two shots. Serving this with ice or maybe even uh, just a little cold water if you want to 
dilute the sweet tea kind of taste or just don't use as much of the uh, half and half. This actually tastes pretty darn good uh, and masks the taste of this abomination of a mixture. <laughs> And it's, it's, it's fairly cheap. I think the entire bottle, this right here, costs like 20 bucks, maybe something like that. Uh, and then the Arizona's, right, a 12 pack cost what? I think it was like eight bucks or something like that. I don't know. Um, but, but yeah, in, in, in total, about $30 for 12 pretty darn good drinks. Uh, that's a lot cheaper than uh, going to a bar. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they taste, uh, pretty darn good. Mm, and it tastes tasty. The other drink I was going to show was going to be, like, a bootleg kinda, kinda mimosa, which is a, a, a more morning type of drink. But basically, uh, what I do is, a, like, a kind of a raspberry mimosa, where it's one shot of some sort of raspberry vodka, and then you fill the rest of the glass with orange juice. You don't want too much of the vodka, but you also don't want too much of the orange juice. Uh, figure out which balance works most for you. I find with these glasses that I have that just one shot of this and then the rest fill it with orange juice is generally fine. And since it's a higher percentage, you know, you won't have to drink as many mimosas in order to start feeling a little 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 wacky like you start speaking in cursive or something like that overall I'm not entirely sure what the point of this video was but if 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 you enjoyed it that's all that really matters maybe I wasted a couple minutes out of your day but hey maybe you also learned some information for the future drink responsibly <laughs> if you can drink uh, if it's legal and safe for you to do so where you are um, and, uh, yeah, till, till next time, ta-ta for now. See ya, punks.